Good morning, my name is Miss Rachel. Thank you for joining me for story time today. Let's get started. Everybody say one, one. Story time has just begun. Everybody say two, two. And shrug your shoulders and show me your shoes. Everybody say three, three. And listen very carefully. Everybody say four, four. And have a seat on the floor or your couch or a chair or wherever is comfortable for you. We are going to start today with a flannel story. And I have some water and some ice and my little polar bear named Marco. I also have some more water here. We're going to see what Marco gets from the water. Are you ready? Marco the polar bear, as white as the snow, sat on the ice near the cold water's flow. Lunch, I need lunch, he said. And then with a swish, he stuck in his paw and came up with a fish. <gasps> Let's see what color. <gasps> what color was it? <gasps> Green. <gasps> Marco the polar bear, as white as the snow, sat on the ice near the cold water's flow. Lunch, I need lunch, he said. And then with a swish, he stuck in his paw and came up with a fish. <gasps> what color is it? Blue. Marco the polar bear, as white as the snow, sat on the ice near the cold water's flow. Lunch, I need lunch, he said. And then with a swish, he stuck in his paw and came up with a fish. <gasps> what color is it? That's right, he got a red fish. Marco the polar bear, as white as the snow, sat on the ice near the cold water's flow. Lunch, I need lunch, he said. And then with a swish, he reached in his paw and came up with a fish. What color is it? Purple. Marco the polar bear sat on the, white as the snow, sat on the ice near the cold water's flow. Lunch, I need lunch, he said. And then with a swish, he stuck in his paw and came up with a fish. What color is it? Yellow. Can you help me count how many fish Marco caught today? One, two, three, four, five fish. He caught a yellow one, a purple one, a red one, a blue one, and a green one. I bet Marco is nice and full now. What do you think? That's a lot of fish. So today we're doing all sorts of stories and songs about polar pals, animals that live in the polar regions. So one animal that lives in a polar region is a penguin. And we're gonna pretend our thumbs are penguins. I bet you will recognize the tune to this song. It goes like this. Where is Penguin? Where is Penguin? Here I am, here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Waddle away, waddle away. Let's try that again. Where is Penguin? Where is Penguin? Here I am, here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Waddle away, waddle away. One last time. Where is Penguin? Where is Penguin? Here I am, here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Waddle away, waddle away. I also have some flannel penguins. Let's see. And I have a big igloo. Let's see how many penguins I have. One, 
two, three, four, five, six. Can you hold up six fingers for me? Normally we hold up five, so we have five on one hand, and then we need one more to make six. Six little penguins off an igloo did dive. Dive? <gasps> dive! One bumped his head. Ouch! And then there were five. Five little penguins swam the ocean floor. One saw a whale. Ah! And then there were four. Four little penguins twirled around. Whee! One spun off, oh, there it goes. And then there were three. Three little penguins with nothing to do. One went fishing. And then there were two. Two little penguins having lots of fun. One slid away. And then there was one. One little penguin, when the day was done, waddled off home to sleep. And then there were none. <clears throat> I wanted to share a few fun facts with you. This book is extra silly because there's a polar bear and a penguin who live in the same place. But did you know that they don't actually live in the same place at all? A lot of people think that the word Arctic just means any place that's cold. But actually, the Arctic is this area up here on the very top of the Earth. To give you an idea, we live about here. And the Arctic is up here at the top, where the North Pole is. And the Antarctic is down here, all the way at the bottom, where the South Pole is. Now, polar bears live up in the Arctic, but penguins live down here in the Antarctic. So, penguins aren't Arctic animals at all, but they are polar animals. So, polar refers to the habitat that they live in. And they both live in polar habitats, which is where it's cold, windy, and there's lots of ice and snow. Quick tip for parents. Kids are so naturally curious about the world around them. And any time you give them a chance to play with things, explore and observe, uh, ask questions about the world around them, they are actually doing science. And you can help encourage this scientific activity by giving them fun things to do. One easy activity you can do that relates to today's story time is to get a muffin tin and put an ice cube in each spot. And then ask your kid what they think will happen if you add things to each of the spots. So for example, you might want to add hot water to one, cold water to one, salt or sugar. You can ask your kid what you think they think will happen and then find out together. Put something on there and observe what happens. All right, another animal that lives in the polar regions is the walrus. So next, we're going to sing together a song called The Walrus Washes His Winter Coat. That's kind of silly. Walruses don't wear coats. But we like silly songs. Are you ready? It goes like this. Oh, the walrus washes his winter coat down by the wavy ocean. He adds some water and he adds some soap and he waits and he waits and he waits. And the laundry shakes, shakes, shakes. The laundry shakes and shakes and shakes. The laundry shakes, shakes, shakes until it's clean. The laundry shakes, shakes, shakes. The laundry shakes and shakes and shakes. The laundry shakes, shakes, shakes until it's clean. Oh, the walrus washes his winter coat down by the wavy ocean. He adds some water and he adds some soap and he waits and he waits and he waits. 
And the laundry spins, spins, spins. The laundry spins and spins and spins. The laundry spins, spins, spins until it's clean. The laundry spins, spins, spins. The laundry spins and spins and spins. The laundry spins, spins, spins until it's clean. Oh, the walrus washes his winter coat down by the wavy ocean. There's no more water and there's no more soap, but he waits and he waits and he waits. And the laundry flaps, flaps, flaps. The laundry flaps and flaps and flaps. The laundry flaps, flaps, flaps in the breeze. The laundry flaps, flaps, flaps. The laundry flaps and flaps and flaps. The laundry flaps, flaps, flaps in the breeze. Now his coat is washed and dry. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, nod your head, nod, nod. If you're happy and you know it, nod your head, nod, nod. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, nod your head, nod, nod. If you're happy and you know it, wave goodbye, goodbye. If you're happy and you know it, wave goodbye, goodbye. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, wave goodbye, goodbye. Thank you so much for joining me today for this story time all about polar animals. I hope you had fun and I hope you'll join me next time. Until then, keep on reading.